Shohei Otani is arguably the greatest baseball player the world has ever seen. And honestly, one of the greatest athletes in the world. That's precisely why the Los Angeles Dodgers were willing to risk it all by locking him in with a massive $700 million deal, making him the highest paid athlete in the history of any sport. But while everyone's hooked on how insane Otani's $700 million mega deal is, there's one crucial detail nobody seems to be noticing. Watch this video to find out what it is. And hey, while you're at it, don't forget to hit that like button, share with your friends, and subscribe to stay updated on all your favorite players and everything baseball. Now, it's not news that Shohei Otani isn't just another hitter on the block. The guy is a total game changer who has continued to prove time and time again that he's in a league of his own. For one, only 72 Japanese players have ever stepped onto a Major League Baseball field in history. And among them, only one has ever made it to the MLB All-Star Game as both a hitter and a pitcher. You already know who he is because this entire video is about him. He's lightning fast, towering in stature, ridiculously strong, and incredibly agile. With his unique ability to excel both on the mound and at the plate, he's not just single-handedly smashing the outdated stereotype that Japanese players were too small and frail for the big leagues. Otani is also redefining what it means to be a modern-day baseball superstar. But hey, before we dive into all that greatness, let's take a trip back to where it all started for him. Japan. Otani's journey began in the small, rural town of Oshu, Japan, surrounded by rice fields. He attended Hamanaki Higashi High School, where his passion for baseball was evident from the start. Because as soon as MLB scouts set their eyes on him, they just couldn't take them off. It all started when he threw a pitch, clocking in at a whopping 99 miles per hour. To put that into perspective, the average speed of an MLB pitch during the 2020 season was 93.7 miles per hour. So yeah, a high schooler throwing 99 miles per hour? Absolutely mind-blowing. After such an insane pitch, it was no surprise that scouts were practically drooling over him straight out of high school. But when most folks were expecting him to take his baseball career to the next level through the country's top professional league, Otani threw everyone for a loop when he announced that he was going to ditch the traditional route, which was through the Nippon Professional Baseball League. Instead, he set his sights on the MLB straight out of the gate. For an average Japanese player, this move would have been unheard of, but Otani was nothing near average. He was too darn good, and even a blind dude could see it. However, he would eventually join the Nippon Professional Baseball League when the Hokkaido Nippon Ham Fighters began to bombard him with a barrage of messages, presentations, and projections for him as a player. Their main selling point to Otani was that he would be a rare two-way player for the fighters. In other words, he would be a player who could both pitch and hit exceptionally well. After this intense recruitment effort, Otani shockingly decided to put the MLB on hold and signed with the Fighters of the NPB in 2012. During his time with the Fighters in Japan, Otani was on fire. Over the course of five years, he stacked up a win percentage of 737 as a pitcher, with an ERA of 252. Now, just in case you're not so deep into baseball stats, an ERA between three and four is all right, but anything under three, that's gold. So yeah, Otani was basically crushing it. He was like the hot shot everyone wanted on their team, and for very good reasons. After his fifth year with the fighters, he was finally ready to take his career to the next level. With that, he said yes to the MLB and inked a deal with the Los Angeles Angels ahead of the 2018 season. Before the season kicked off, the Angels dropped the bombshell that they'd be using Otani both as a hitter and a pitcher, just like he did back in Japan. He started as the designated hitter on opening day, facing off against the Oakland Athletics and nailed it 
singling in his first at bat off Kendall Graveman. Just a few days later, he stepped up to the mound for his pitching debut, striking out six batters in six innings and snagging his first MLB win. No biggie. As if that wasn't impressive enough, not long after, Otani blasted his first MLB home run, a 397-foot three-run bomb against Josh Tomlin. And just when you thought he was done, he smashed his third homer just three days later, making history as the first Angels rookie to pull off such a feat. Otani was straight up on fire. In only his second start on the mound, on April 8, he began a perfect game going through six and a third innings before finally giving up a hit. But even then, he shut it down, pitching seven innings without giving up a single run and striking out a whopping 12 batters. Otani wrapped up his rookie MLB season with some seriously impressive stats. With a batting average of 285 and an on-base percentage of 361, he launched 22 home runs, drove in 61 RBIs, and even swiped 10 bases. And when he wasn't crushing it with the bat, he was dominating on the mound, making 10 starts and racking up a 4-2 record with a wicked 331 ERA and 63 strikeouts. He even ranked seventh among all MLB players with at least 350 plate appearances that season. He also became the second fastest Angels rookie to hit 20 homers, joining the iconic Babe Ruth as the only player in MLB history to notch 10 pitching appearances and 20 homers in a single season. And if that wasn't enough, he scooped up the American League Rookie of the Month award not once, but twice, and was crowned the American League Rookie of the Year. Unfortunately, Otani's journey hit a rough patch in 2019 when injuries started piling up, forcing the Angels to really dial back his playing time. And just when he was gearing up for a comeback in 2020, bam, COVID-19 threw a curveball at everyone. With all the disruptions, Otani just couldn't seem to catch a break. He struggled to find his rhythm and ended up only pitching a total of two games across both seasons. On the bright side, it meant he had all the time in the world to get ready for 2021. He knew he had to make some serious changes to gear up for a grueling season as both a pitcher and a hitter. And that's exactly what he did. He went all in, revamping his diet, hitting the gym hard, and even dialing in his mindset to stay cool under pressure. And you know what? His plan paid off big time. Finally, the Angels didn't have to hold him back or limit his usage due to injuries. He was ready to unleash his full potential, and man, did he deliver. By the end of the season, he created tsunamis of baseball history. I mean, this guy made headlines as the first player selected as an all-star in both pitching and hitting, which is just mind-blowing. Plus, the numbers also didn't lie. Shohei blasted an incredible 46 home runs, swiped 26 bases, all while knocking it out of the park as a pitcher too. Otani's jaw-dropping performance didn't go unnoticed. Alongside snagging the American League Most Valuable Player title, he also bagged two Guinness World Records and claimed the number one spot on Sporting News' The 50 Greatest Seasons in Sports History ranked list, outshining legendary performances by icons like Babe Ruth, Michael Jordan, Tom Brady, Wayne Gretzky, and Lionel Messi. Even Japan wanted to honor him with their national prestige, the People's Honor Award, offered by the Prime Minister himself. But Otani, humble as ever, turned it down, saying it was still too early for such recognition. Now, I don't know about you, but that's a pretty huge one. Over the next two years, Otani wasn't just breaking records, he was smashing them to smithereens. It seemed like every time he stepped onto the field, he was rewriting the history books. And with time, baseball fans couldn't help but draw comparisons between Shohei and the legendary Babe Ruth, and for good reason. At just 29 years old, he has proven to be in the same league as the Hall of Famer Ruth, joining him as one of only two players in MLB history to rack up 100-plus home runs 
and 500 or more strikeouts. That's the stuff of legends. And to think that he's killing it as a hitter and a pitcher at the same freaking time. Not even Babe was able to pull that off. So when Otani's contract finally came up for renewal, the Los Angeles Dodgers weren't about to let him slip through their fingers. They knew he was a once in a generation talent with tons of untapped potential. And with that, they whipped out their wallet and offered him the largest contract in professional sports history. 700 million American dollars, and for a period of 10 years. And from the looks of things, it's likely one of the best decisions they could have made. In just over a month into the season, Otani's performance is nothing short of extraordinary, currently leading the majors in numerous categories and dominating nearly all prominent stats. He might just be on the way to earning his third MVP if he maintains this level of play. We'd like to know what you think in the comments.